Right folks, I came over the railway line a minute ago, took a few photos as well, did a small video, but no train at all, so I couldn't get a close-up of the fast train going by at all. And it, it must be nearly an hour since the train went by, and that was when I was right over the other side, quite a long way. Unless they're very quiet, these trains. Anyway, fingers crossed, no cows so far. There's Brent Knoll and Brent Knoll Village, and I can already see the tower hidden in the trees there. They won't zoom in because it isn't really nothing to see at the moment. There's a big mansion up there. There's a big old manor house and all that. The ground's on that hill there. Um, which would have been part of a bailey, I think they call it, of uh, a hill fort. Because that is a hill fort, really. Brent Knoll, it was made into one. It might have been formed geologically like that but it, they probably took advantage of it. M brilliant views from up there. Anyway I've got my hat on now and I'm just taking my time. It's getting hotter and hotter and today was the day to do this walk um, because the thunderstorms predicted for this for tonight and tomorrow and the next day and the odd one over but we'll have to we'll assess as we go but I've done three big walks in a week um, the first one was a week ago Monday um, that was the row barrow one it's gone so fast already when I did that one then I did the uh, Winscombe one on Saturday and then on Monday, it's Wednesday now by the way, on Monday I did the <sighs> Cheddar, Velvet Bottom, Area of Outstanding Natural Beauty and back to Cheddar cir Circular Walk. All big hikes uh, in, in sunshine. I think there's, the grey one was probably the Robero one and partial cloudy the um, Winscombe one. But this would be the Brent Knoll one. And uh, there's a bloke I know, I, I used to play hockey with his wife. He's a farmer, beef cattle and milk and all that. A local man whose father de um, donated money or land for the Barrow Social Club. Anyway, when we were all playing hockey and rugby, he took his he used to take his rugby player team along these tracks on an old cart. I don't know if he drove a tr tractor or whether it was pulled by horses, but he had them all on the back and they went to the pub. They were quite merry fellows. They loved their beer. Um, they were the last of the big drinking rugby players, I think. Uh, to be quite honest, I think um, fitness and keeping healthy has succeeded, um, possibly. They're planting something in there, look. Yeah. So, there's just a little bit of thing. I've probably mentioned that before uh, with a farmer I knew who used to do that. I know his name, but I better not mention people's names, I think, without them knowing. Um, they'll be able to guess some people who I mean. Ah, I'm glad to see that. Keep the bikes out. Although it, it would be a nice cross-country track, tell the truth. I say that, but I cycle myself. But there's got to be some areas. Just for us walkers, you know. I'll just zoom into the church for a little bit now. With, there's the hill, there's Brent Knoll, and then hidden in the trees there is the church of Brent Knoll. can't remember its name at the moment, but if it's open I'll go in there. And then I shall wander up the canopy of trees, which would cool me. And there's shrubs, there are ways to get up the hill, up the knoll, which you can go in, sh in sort of shade in some areas. Um, but once you're up the top, you are fully exposed. And also, 
further down on the other side there's normally always a herd of cows. Normally always. But there are ways and escape routes on the way down. There's different fields you can get into. It might be a bit of a cross-country hike doing all that. Well, I'm used to it. I had to do it the other day. Um, I mean, I risked a week ago going in with a herd of black bullocks, but I shouldn't have done it really. It was very risky. If they had just decided to get more curious or push me over, you know, I mean, I would have been the end of me. I shouldn't really have done it, but I won't be doing it again, and I rarely do that. I rarely do it. On that occasion, the bulk of the herd had already gone down into another field, but there were some strays at the back. But anyway, that has all been described before. I wonder if that's wild mustard or something. I need to find out what that plant is. There's an awful lot of it. Now this is what I like about coming out in the midday, in the midweek. Because I always get these walks to myself, so I can do my videos and take photos. But I expect, during the, the, the severe Covid period, when people were encouraged to walk, I expect this was very busy out here. And they might have already shifted the cows for that reason. Um, makes sense, doesn't it really? Now you see this here, this is very deceiving. If you thought you could tread on that, you'd go underwater. Look at that, that's totally covered the top layer of water. That's quite dangerous really, I think. I think it's quite dangerous. It's deceiving, isn't it, for a child. They put these things on the wireless and the electric cables, don't they? Sort of gadgets. I don't know what, if they're to help um, prevent sparks coming off or something. Could be. Don't see them on all of them, but I haven't noticed them before. I'm glad I've brought all my water and drinks. I'm just, I am mean, feeling thirsty as well. Please double check you have shut this gate. So look, there's another walk there, and there's a, ho there's a horse in there. So there are other walks around that you can do. Probably circular walks, I didn't notice that before. Um, there always is. I can hear the train now. I can hear the train. Yeah, it's going by. Yeah, it's gone by. And there probably one one goes the other way in a minute as well. So we're having a good walk everyone, it's beautiful. I am so enjoying this past week. After being shut in for a very, very long winter, though I was going out, of course. But this is what I always look forward to. Warm bones. I only wish I still had my van, really, so I could go off camping. I've got all my camping gear. Um, I'm, and I'm hoping to go to Lincoln next year. I really want to save for my trip next year. I need to save at least a thousand pounds. To go on a, so you don't have to worry about things. I mean, I might have to hire a car. I, I don't know because I would like to do a trip there and take my tent. I, that's what I would really like to do. But I don't mind staying in the odd hotel either. You know, the Premier Inns sound pretty good. Um, but I'm going to save up for that.